So the poacher that commit crime in Mozambique so ran to South Africa and vice versa. So without that... Imagine you walking through the African savanna and coming across a majestic elephant. You feel a sense of wonder and awe as you observe it in its natural habitat. But did you know that this very elephant is at risk of being poached for its ivory tusks? Poaching is causing alarming changes in the behavior of African elephants and other wildlife, and it's not just limited to the largest organisms, even the smallest microorganisms are affected. Everything in our world is connected to an ecosystem, and poaching disrupts this delicate balance. The illegal wildlife trade is the fourth largest criminal industry in the world similarly, poaching is a part of wildlife trade. Poaching is a concern related to harm to animals caused by trapping, hunting, and selling of animals from wildlife dead or alive. Poaching is a significant part of this trade, as animals are hunted and sold for a variety of reasons, including as exotic pets, bush meat, traditional medicines, and even clothing and jewelry made from their, their fur, tusks, fins, shells, skins, horns, and internal organs. It's not just a few species that are affected, either. A report published by Science Magazine in 2019 found that over 5,500 species of mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians are traded globally. This means that 18% of all vertebrate animals are at risk of being poached and traded. Mammals are the most vulnerable, with 27% of all mammal species being traded, followed by birds at 23%, reptiles and amphibians are also at risk, with 12% and 9% of their species being traded, respectively. The findings of this report are a clear indication that the global trade in wildlife is not only a serious threat to the survival of many species but also a significant challenge for conservation efforts worldwide. Poaching is not just a simple act of hunting, it is a multifaceted problem that stems from various reasons, it's not just about satisfying a demand for exotic products, but it also involves cultural and religious beliefs that have been around for centuries, unfortunately, this has caused many animals to become endangered or even go extinct and religious ceremonial objects like the hooves, tusks, skins, teeth, heads, fars, horns, and ivory, some animals like the rhino are also hunted because it is believed its horn has medicinal values. Turtles, orangutans, snakes, seahorses, and pangolins are equally part of religious medicine believed to cure a myriad of diseases including cancer. In recent years, poaching has also been fueled by corruption and greed. Some officials tasked with protecting wildlife are unfortunately susceptible to bribes and other forms of corruption, this makes it easier for poachers to operate without being caught, moreover, the rise of the global human population has led to an increase in demand for wild animals and their parts, which has made poaching a very profitable business. One of the most tragic examples of this is the African elephant, which has been hunted down in large numbers for their ivory tusks, over 100,000 elephants were killed between 2014 and 2017, which is a staggering number. And it's not just elephants, tigers are also on the brink of extinction due to poaching. Throughout human history, hunting has been a crucial aspect of survival in the wild, from the earliest days of humanity, our ancestors relied on hunting to secure food, clothing, and shelter. In many cultures, Hunting has also been an important part of spiritual and religious traditions, as societies developed, however, hunting evolved into a leisure activity for some, with hunters seeking trophies and bragging rights, literally in human history, this time hunting of animals was not really a problem because the population was abandoned and that could easily recaparate the numbers lost. But now we have surpassed that relativity and the human's population has grown exponentially while. The wildlife population has gone the other way, hence many of the species are under threats of going extinct very soon. It's a sad reality that many people turn to poaching as a means of survival, especially in underdeveloped countries where job opportunities are scarce. However, it's important to remember that poaching doesn't just harm the animals, it also has negative impacts on the environment and the economy, when animal populations decline, it disrupts the balance of the ecosystem and can lead to a domino effect of negative consequences. In addition, the illegal wildlife trade is a multi-billion dollar industry, 
And the money made from poaching often funds other criminal activities, so while it may seem like a quick and easy way to make money, the long term effects are devastating for everyone involved, it's important for us as a society to take action to stop poaching and protect our planet's precious wildlife. The sad truth is that the illegal wildlife trade is a lucrative business and it is estimated to be worth billions of dollars annually, the people who participate in this trade are not just the poachers, but also the buyers who are willing to pay large sums of money for exotic animal products such as ivory, rhino horns, and tiger bones, these buyers come from all over the world. And their demand for these products is what drives the poaching industry, the illegal wildlife trade is a dark end. Lucrative business, fueled by greed and exploitation, it's hard to believe that the trade in animal parts is the fourth largest criminal industry in the world, worth over $20 billion a year, that's a staggering amount of money being made from the suffering of innocent animals, the sad truth is that this industry is putting some of the world's most iconic species at risk of extinction, with rhinos, tigers, and elephants among the most vulnerable. It's a race against time to stop the trade and save these magnificent creatures from disappearing forever. Poaching and the illegal wildlife trade are often linked, with poachers providing the animals and traders handling the transport and sale of their products, this interconnectedness has made it difficult to tackle either issue on its own. Both poaching and illegal wildlife trade are illegal activities that require international cooperation to effectively combat. Imagine a world where the poacher and the consumer are connected by an invisible thread, each playing a crucial role in a dangerous game of supply and demand. Do you know how poaching ecosystem work? Firstly a poacher going to forest to poach animals and cut their skin, tusks, horns etc., usually with the intention of selling their parts on the black market, the black market for illegal wildlife parts is vast and operates globally, but who are the buyers of these illegal animal parts? Sadly, it's common people all around the world who contribute to the demand for wildlife products, from ivory trinkets to tiger bone wines. The poacher and the consumer may seem like polar opposites, but they are in fact two sides of the same coin. Without the poacher, there would be no animal parts to sell. And without the consumer, there would be no demand for these products. It's a vicious cycle that has devastating consequences for the world's wildlife. Each transaction fuels the demand for more animal parts, leading to more poaching and more suffering. Entire species are pushed to the brink of extinction, and ecosystems are thrown out of balance. But there is hope. By breaking this cycle and disrupting the illegal wildlife trade, we can protect our planet's precious wildlife and ensure a better future for all. It starts with educating ourselves about the impact of our actions and making conscious choices about the products we buy. Together, we can turn the tide and create a world where the poacher and the consumer are no longer two sides of the same coin, but two separate and responsible stewards of our planet's natural resources. Imagine a world where the majestic trumpeting of elephants and the roar of lions no longer echo across the African savanna, a world where the only evidence of these magnificent creatures is in faded photographs and history books, this is the stark reality we face if we don't act now, the future of wildlife is in our hands. We have a responsibility to preserve the natural habitats of these incredible animals for generations to come, but we can't do it alone. We need your help to support the brave rangers who risk their lives every day to protect these ecosystems from poachers and other threats, your contribution will make a direct impact by helping to train, equip, and support these rangers. With your help, we can ensure that the African elephant, the lion, and the rhino continue to thrive in their natural habitat, together, we can make a difference and safeguard these magnificent animals for future generations to enjoy. So let's join forces and let's make a difference, before it's too late.